Certainly, most companies today manage their business in silos. They are struggling to get to that point where they can look at, it, at their risks on a more collective basis. The introduction of ORSA in the U.S. is going to change all that, and companies are going to need to look at things more on a holistic basis going forward in order to have a proper response to regulators, rating agencies, and, and other stakeholders of the firm. Traditionally, insurance companies have looked at their investment strategy from an asset-only perspective, trying to maximize the investment income or the returns that they're getting from their investment portfolio in isolation. But the investments are there for a purpose, and that purpose is to fund the liability claims and the capital within the insurance operations. To move from that silo return basis that they understand and been doing for years to a whole company perspective, is a very difficult task and it is a challenging task but it can be done and completed and provide a very tangible output. It's not a theoretical compliance concept, it's a very real outcome for the health of the company. What an economic capital model will do for you is really help you in how you should allocate capital or the way I look at it is not really uh, capital allocation but it's really capital consumption. What I mean by capital consumption is looking at large downside events. On the other side of it, which is what companies are always hunting for, is the upside risk opportunities. And you can see that with an economic capital model. And the ability of an insurance company to be able to look at different what-if scenarios and understand the various impacts of what could possibly happen over the next two or three years are extremely critical in terms of making decisions about what lines of business the company wants to play in, what states they want to operate in. What we're doing for TOA and for other clients is showing the return on assets relative to the risk or volatility of the company as a whole, the overall value. So the efficient frontier that we present is this picture of the return on assets relative to the risk for the whole company. Conning, with their investment optimizer platform, allows our systems to generate an efficient frontier, which shows you all combinations of investment strategies that maximize reward levels for particular levels of risk. This is an extremely efficient and effective way at identifying strategic asset allocation strategies for the insurance industry. So the strategic asset allocation model really told us how much risk we were taking and how much more we could take, let's say, in terms of capacity in various lines of business. It also pointed out to us from the underwriting side of the business uh, specifically what lines of business might have been enhancing our return versus what lines of business may have been detracting a little bit from our return. So one of the things we really looked at as a result was what was the probability in any given year over, or over a longer term period that our capital would maintain a certain threshold. Milliman and Conning have had an alliance since 2008 and it's worked out well for us, it's worked out well for our clients. We offer very complementary services, I think is, is really the key to what clients want. When Conning and Milliman start to talk together about a solution for a particular prospect, we work at making it a success because we know that what we're able to provide in the marketplace goes beyond what anyone else is able to provide. They bring what is clearly the state-of-the-art software to the table with Advise and Gems. And Advise is ready-made to bring in those liability projections that Milliman comes up with on a stochastic basis into the advised model. Basically, you're dealing with a team that has a tremendous amount of experience and expertise and ability to deliver understandable output from both sides of the balance sheet, assets and liabilities. Working with Milliman and Conning uh, was a good experience because Number one, the expectations were clearly outlined at the beginning of the project. Second, the timetable was clearly uh, outlined in terms of when we would have a product that was deliverable. And I would say the third part of it was um, working with them. Obviously, we work with a professional staff, and we got a lot of insights along the way in terms of how we handle our business.